Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Da, 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 da. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Woo, child, it's praying time. It's praying time for one of the housewives of Atlanta. Superstars up here in the ATL in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, I had to bring out that hymn on y'all. That hymn, we call it hymn down here in the South, but some people call it hymns, okay? It's a church thing, get into it. But woo-wee, when I was driving home and I was looking down at my phone for something, I had thought I missed a phone call and Lord have mercy. I swiped that phone and I saw a uh, media takeout put out allegedly a story that could be true. I don't know if it's true, but you know I'm going to talk about it because it's something I was interested in reading. All right, but I got to the grocery store. I had to just take a little sit down in my car. Okay, trying to enjoy up and just scroll through this because I couldn't believe what I saw. Well, honey, what media takeout has brought out on the news feed to hit social media is that NeNe Lease may be thinking about having an open marriage. <laughs> girl, like, girl, if you don't sit your season self down somewhere before you get hurt by some younger man and Greg, no, he just had a cancer scale and he get him a little hot, little foxy trot season woman. He going to be going to the pearly gates as we know it. OK, what in the world? What a tomfoolery we got going on here on this day, on this Monday, hard working day for people that had to go out there to that nine to five and make that cha-ching money. OK, I was just I was downright put back. I, it sent me back. I had to just go, whoo, did I have a hot flash or something? Call like, I know Nene is not condoning. Let me say it again. Condoning open marriage. Okay, that means you're still in a marriage, but you and your spouse have got together, made up this little thing that they're going to see women on the side, and then he, uh, she's going to see men on the side, or who knows, they might be seeing a little bit of each. You know what I'm saying? A lesbian on lesbian thing, a gay on gay thing, and then they mix it up with a heterosexual thing. Yeah, I know, kind of weird. Okay, kind of distasteful for some people. All right, but my thing is, what happened to the sanctity or the sanctity of marriage? Is everybody just taking it as a joke now? I mean, why go up there? And save yourself for a man or a woman say herself for a man and a man say himself for a woman. And then three years down the road, 10 years down the road, you're going to be like, I don't want to be with you. I'm going to do like Tom, Dick and Harry and Susan, Jane and Jill down the street. They got an open marriage. They swinging. Can we get into that? What kind of mess is that? What kind of mess is that? Now, see, as you know, I'm already giving you opinion. My opinion. I am totally biased. I am heterosexual and I like being in a marriage. Okay. I like being in a monogamous relationship. When you giving me you, I'm giving me, I'm giving you me, you giving me you. And it's just a one thing. It ain't like, okay, something allegedly like T.I. and Tiny got going over there. They just uh tricking everybody they can get a hold to and then some. All right. But what happens when the arrangement, the arrangement that y'all made go left? Why y'all had an arrangement to have somebody in the midst of, of your relationship. What if they go see them outside of you? You don't know about it, but they still meeting up on the side, even though it's supposed to be something mm -hmm. where everybody took part of everybody. But you went down the street one night or one day when uh, your, your other significant partner in crime was gone doing something. You don't think no feelings going to get hurt. But see, when you open up yourselves to these entities, 
you ain't going to be coming up with nothing but hurt and bruises and pain to live with for the longevity. But since y'all know how I felt about it, y'all get down in them comments and tell me y'all how y'all felt about it. But in the in the meantime, in between time, let's get on into the story, okay? Mm. Why don't we, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let me try and pull it back up, okay? So like I said, I only wrote, read the title of it. And I was like, oh my goodness. Just when I thought things were coming to settle down. Just when I thought, Lord, things were going to settle down <coughs> on the forefront of me having to have to get on the tube and talk about my two favorite uh, reality shows that I like to get down with, which is um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, as so, Married to Medicine. All right, but uh, where is the doggone story? Oh, it's on Google. I'm, I'm going to the wrong place. It's Google is where I found the story. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see now. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Just get you something to drink while I'm scrolling. I wasn't prepared. I had to get down with my Jesus and say, Lord, what is the world coming to? There is no sanctity anymore when it comes to the marriage. What is going on? What is going on? Whew. Did I find it? Did I find it? Oh, nope, that wasn't it. Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, it's bought out again by Media Takeout News Outlet. Now, we know they get kind of sketchy sometimes, but I don't, I don't care. Media Takeout is bringing out a new look. They coming out strong and beating people before times. The one that was the other uh, blogging sites that, you know, kind of try to get their eyes dotted, their T's crossed before they release the story. You know, Media Takeout was just known for just getting out there saying in and everything. But, you know, of course, I'm sure a lot of legalities went down and they said, no, we can't do that no more. Kind of like the Inquirer magazine. They had to fact check real strong before they put articles out there of truth. All right. But you don't be sleeping on uh, Inquirer. They be coming out with some truth, too. But Media Takeout brought it out today. All right, meaning Monday the 21st. Um, they just said it was a staff writer that brought out this piece. They titled it Atlanta Housewife Nene Leaks. Me and Greg have an open marriage. Now, see, <laughs> all of this is the legend now. I'm just giving you what I got from my social media uh, blogging site. So if you like it, you could take it, what I'm going to read to you, or you could go on your media site, Google, go on to Google. Pull up uh, MTO News, Media Takeout News, put Nene Leaks in there, and you're going to come up with a lot of stories because a lot of people do things on her as uh, far as uh, putting out articles and salacious, scandalous stories, okay? Uh, but all of it's allegedly until we come and see some truth to it or they admit to it. But usually where there's smoke, there's fire, okay? All right. But anyway... How they are titling, titling it, it says Atlanta housewife Nene Leakes has spoken. Me and Greg have an open marriage. Okay, that's what they say. I didn't say it. I'm just reading it to you. Okay, it says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes is now in an open marriage, according to Nene herself. And they do give a little clip where you can go to her media um I think it's her Instagram account and she's, you know, sitting in her bedroom or a bedroom and uh, she's talking about the idea of her and Greg uh, toying around with the possibilities of having um, her a side dude and him a side chick. Personally, I think it's fictitious. It's, it's um, not true. I believe she just put that out there just to generate uh, people talking about it to give her another edge on when the season comes back uh, in another week or another two weeks for the opening of season 12 for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, Nene is one smart cookie and she's very manipulative and she definitely goes in for the kill, meaning she's going to have all of her stuff together <coughs> to make her still seem like she's the HBIC in charge, okay? She ain't going to be trying a little bad. She's going to always try to stay in front of stories. She's going to be making the stories and putting them out there if you get my drill, meaning leaking her own 
tea, as y'all say, but I say coffee because I drink coffee over here. I don't mess with the tea unless my voice is going, you know, and I need or scratch you or catching a cold or some allergies or catching up with me. But anyway, getting back to the article, it says Nene took to Instagram to give fans a pre preview of her upcoming storyline for the season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta and claims that she and her husband of 20 years, Greg, are deciding on having an open marriage. Now, look at here, look at here, look at look at here now. That's what's got going on in my mind. All right. Going back to the article, it says open marriages are common in Hollywood. But guess what? Sidebar, that's me. We're not in Hollywood. We're in the ATA. But you know what? They are trying to depict or trying to make uh, Atlanta, Georgia, like Hollywood. It's like everybody getting tired. And we got Tyler Perry down here and all these other little entities trying to make small films and movies and all this thing. So we're supposed to be the next action-packed city. And that's why everybody flocking here. Well, I'm telling you, we don't appreciate it. The natives. The born and raised people that are here. We don't appreciate all of this uh, awareness coming up here and clogging up all our streetways and byways and highways. You know what I'm saying? You could come and, and uh, tour, but I don't know about this staying commuting here kind of thing because y'all putting a little damper on the people that been here forever, okay? That can get around and, and know these side streets, but then they are already clogged up with traffic. Traffic, 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 okay? <sighs> but that's my side pain. I won't give that to you all. But if you come to Atlanta, Georgia to live or visit, I'm telling you, it's very, very, very congested. It started picking up in 2011. At least that's when I started thinking that it was getting a little bit overcrowded up in here. And what's going on? People got going around here putting out signs saying, come to Atlanta. It's the place to be. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. But I'm seeing a very huge, a vast amount of increasing people here. All right. But anyway, that's my uh, soapbox. Let me get off of it and get back to this article. Okay. Don't want to tear it too long. But anyway, <clears throat> it said open marriages are common in Hollywood. And under the rules of open marriages, each spouse is allowed to have one or more side lovers. Now, see, I don't know if it's a law up there that's saying you could do this because when people get get tired of being messed on or they ain't getting what they thought they were going to get out of the open marriage, they want to go suing their partner or their husband or their wife and won't have or if not all. You know what I'm saying? Do we have laws for that, too? I don't think that's right in Georgia. Mm -mm. No, if you get caught in an infraction and it's not legally on paper that you signed, you're going to have a marriage. Somebody going to lose real heavily in the court system, okay? So don't think that's the status quo down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, we're moving back on to the article. It says, Nene explained to fans that Greg's recent fight with cancer brought on the decision. I thought the decision was for better or for worse. For sickness and health. You know, I thought that was the situation. Not, if you get sick, I'm going to have an open marriage. <laughs> Did they rewrite the marriage vows? Or people just write them as they go along? Tell me which one is which. Because I want to know. <coughs> okay. But going back to the article. It said, Nene told fans, Greg was diagnosed with cancer. It was the worst time in our lives, and I struggled as a caregiver, and our relationship struggled so much. So, <clears throat> excuse me, to fix things, Nene is now looking for a side dude. <laughs> like, Nene, you rolling like that, baby. You think you're going to get you a smooth operator? Uh, your love is king type of a king in your life. Are you trying to go younger, but not dumber? And Greg trying to go. I, maybe he's trying to go uh, younger too, but he messed with a young person. He might have a heart attack when she get through with him, okay? So I think both y'all need to slow y'all roll. That's just in my opinion, okay? <laughs> but if you're thinking that way, Nene, I'm thinking myself, you already done found somebody because you already done tip, tasted the wine berry juice of that brother, and now you're trying to convince the bread. This is what we need to do. Especially when you holding the purse strings, you're making all the money. So I guess Greg is like the woman. He's taking a woman position. We're like, well, I ain't got nowhere to go. I am um, getting older and I can't do for myself. I guess I find me a little hen woman to do what I want her to do. And she can lay it low and spread it wide for me sometime when I feel like I want to have an erection. You know, I'm just talking in my head, but I can just see Greg. This is the things he is probably thinking about in his mind. I'm like, what? 
in the hell's name you got going on here, Father? What does she got going on? Please excuse me, Lord, but bless it. But I just don't understand any these. Once I think she's turning, you know, the corner to bitterness, <laughs> she go and do something as crazy and underhanded and I don't know, ungodly, you would say. I mean, just divorce Greg, okay? Give him his half or whatever y'all set up on. You know, whatever y'all decided y'all wanted to settle on and just make a clean slate. Go on and marry somebody else that's younger that probably will take your money uh, or, or, or some sort and, and just stop it. Stop mixing all of this um other marriage thing coming in. I mean, just I'm just giving my opinion. I know you don't probably care, and people don't probably care. Want to hear it either? But I'm gonna say it because I got a platform to say it. Just get a divorce and let Greg go. Or Greg, just divorce Nene and let her go, and go get with somebody that you think you can live the rest of your uh season years with. Because all this mess about an open marriage ain't nothing. Because when you get tired of playing with them, they get tired of playing with you. You probably open up yourself to a hell of a lot of diseases. Uh, on that front, and then it just never stops. I mean, once somebody get tired of something, they always look for the next best thing. And if you think you're gonna keep them, then the sidebar, no, because just how you got in that situation that you got in with Greg, guess what? Somebody can turn around and do it just back to you. So I'm thinking it's just a, a, a publicity stunt, but if it is in fact true, then Nene. Nene, Nene, Nene. I have no words. <laughs> I know I don't have no words. I keep you in prayer. That's all I can say, baby. That's all I can say. Going back to the article, it says Nene explained we're talking about a whole new relationship situation. You know, like open marriages. As Nene utters the words open marriages and belts out a devilish laugh. Uh, in other news, the Real Housewives of Atlanta continues to film season 12, which airs on Bravo November 3rd. The drama. Just reached an all-time high at the end of the cash trip to Greece. And it just pretty much goes on to tell what had happened within the trip. And the, as we know, the taping has definitely stopped. And they're probably editing as we speak and getting ready for um, November 3rd season opening. Okay? But y'all get on down in them comments. But first, go to Nene Leakes' uh, Instagram account and let her tell you what she feels about her and Greg making a decision to have an open marriage and how it may save their current marriage as we speak. Okay, but like I said, I really think it's a publicity publicity stunt. It's just to keep get her hyped and out there in the community, to meaning the social media world for her to uh, not be forgotten uh, and to be looking for her when she does come back on. Uh, Season 12 for Real Housewives of Atlanta for y'all to be geared up for what may pop off that first episode. So I think it's just a click and bait type situation. I don't really think her and Greg got the energy. <laughs> no other time to be trying to say, oh, let's get into this sexual quest. I just think Nene just, you know, she's tired of being a caregiver, which is understandably uh, you know, a, a very big task to take on for one person. But I mean, Nene, let's think about the situation. Are you setting the right tone for your boys to do this to other women? Like, I don't believe in marriage. We're going to end up getting a divorce anyway. So why don't we just live together? I mean, it's that and, and just have an open marriage if we do decide to get married so we don't get tired of one another. OK, is, is that what you're trying to tell your sons that, you know, this is what you should do? Oh, Nene, Nene, Nene. I have nothing else for this video, but y'all tell me. Y'all get in the comments. Do we need to say a little prayer, prayer for uh, Greg and Nene? Or are we just, just let them be as they are and let the cookies fall where they may? All right, that's my uh, take on this video. I want to hear your thoughts, your concerns, and how you feel about this. Do you think it's a PR stunt, or do you think she really is considering having an open marriage with Greg as well as do you think she already had a man on the side she's just trying to bring him out and she don't want no judgment from the community meaning the social media community <laughs> to be on her ass about what she's doing and how she's uh making Greg feel okay but that's all I got for this video don't forget to subscribe to me let's get me to that 10,000 mark as always and I'll keep uh, dropping salacious, scandalous videos for y'all to take part of or not.
Okay, but y'all be blessed. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.